Welcome of UFC Unlimited Fight Channel. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC lightweight division bout. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them. From the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend he's truly truly something special i don't think he could take you down but tonight he doesn't have to so he does not in have this to. matchup prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas i fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once but i fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times enter bruce lee i mean that's bruce lee in a nutshell over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Three years apart, with some differences in height and a similar reach. Now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 151 pounds. Lover. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce, the Dragon Lee! All right, commit to the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out for They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and it'll be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. A definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do that. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big punch man over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Head 
punches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night at that landing. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Oh, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the body with relative ease there. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Lee's circling to his right. Big body keep landing. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Under two minutes to go. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. And they separate. Oh, a huge block there. Just misses there with the left. There by Lee. Let those hands go. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. What a fight so far! Let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. Take a deep breath. Now listen, you probably lost that round. I need you to be first. Let's get that head movement and start popping that jab. What a punch. Punch to the body. No good, it's blocked. Nice sneaky head kick. in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Crippling uppercut for him there. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. That shot blocked by Lee. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Lee gets the takedown after catching that kick. Nicely done there. Now let's see what he can do on the ground. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount and they rush. They get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. Reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hips be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work. Make the opponent give his back so that he can try to get his chokes off or find great ground and pound with very patient ground and pound from such a dominant position. Dig and kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And they separate. Handles inches 
right there, yeah. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. He landed that punch flush. Eats the elbow there. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Well, missed on that one. 15 seconds to go. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. Take a deep breath. Bro. All right, get it to one. Drink. Slow that heart rate down. All right. Here we go. Right. You are absolutely winning this round. You ready? You ready? Go for it. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Top boys going down. Keep your hands up. Checks the leg kick. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Just misses with the jab. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's gonna hurt this opponent. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Just out of range with that right hand. Big kick. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Nice shot to the body there. Liver kick. One, two there by Lee. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Misses with that punch. The slip and then the counter by Lee. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Plus right hand is true. through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. You could start for the That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. 
All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Nice. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Good night if that landed. I'm well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Just misses with the left hook. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Lee gets hit with that hook. That one had some pop behind it. Right hand counter. Beautiful body land right under the elbow. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Oh, and he lands yet another knee. And sometimes it pays to be the taller fighter, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Nice punch land over the top. Horn sounds for the end of round four. We now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. Final round, ready? ready? So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. Good punch. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Oh! Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Punch. Back and forth we go! Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. A beautiful leg kick thrown. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Try to establish that jab. Blocks the shot. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Pretty good right hand. 
All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an L? This is when you gotta go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You gotta throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes for the judges, you are not gonna win this fight. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Good jabs. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Under a minute now to go on the fight. Nice kick. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Oh, man! Huge kick to the body. That one is going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Final 10 seconds of the fight. What a fight! All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, but it went a whole lot better for one of them than the other. Talk us through the replays, champ. Some decisions are different than others, and his striking really did separate him from the competition. He fought so well in the stand-up game that he should get a very easy decision. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 49-46. For the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead the dance. He did that from start to finish, and he wins a unanimous.